Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. Well, it is uh, 13 minutes into the 14th day of uh, October 2021, and we're doing a transitions video, so to speak, but we also have a package opening. And then, well, actually, this is the reason why we're doing the transitions video, because we have a package opening. Uh, it came in uh, earlier today, but I didn't notice it was there. And, uh... So, yay, here we go with this. I have a feeling I know what it is. But anyways, we'll open it and find out. And yay. It's what I think it is. It's what I thought it was. Um, it's for the, uh... Mixers that I have, particularly the new ones that are coming in, uh, I need some gender cha gender cha changers, and that's what this does. It, it's uh, the XLR male to male, uh, and this will resolve uh, one of the issues that I have uh, on the mixer. So, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Not much. I will be going on to the YouTube stroll. Uh, continuing on with it in a few minutes. I just want to get myself something to drink. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to have to eat because I really don't know what I want to eat. So, uh, that will be it, the end of that. Alright, so see you then. Well, we are here for an interlude <laughs> of some sort. Uh, an interlude is defined as a break in a play or some form of activity is a dis or a discount this con a discontu oh my this continuity <laughs> I had a triple I tripped over that one it's still early it is nine fifty uh nine hours and fifty minutes into the uh 14th day of October uh, um Taking an interlude from sleeping from one event to another. Uh, and as I start, I'm the type of person who reads a dictionary. Uh, and I do find it quite interesting. Because it takes you from, it takes you from one particular form of thought to another. And as you do various different things, uh, the trajectory that you take ends up <clears throat> being something you didn't anticipate. I mean, the dream was pretty... The dreams are pretty good. It was... These dreams are often now set in the future. Uh, I don't know how how far in the future, but sufficiently far in the future. And it features a number of the dynamics of the things I understand, and these include some of the new things I understand but also present some of the uh, problematic failures, uh, even of my own account. And, uh, and so on and so forth. But this is sort of led here to here to have, I needed to have a drink of iced tea. Uh, that sort of, sort of, uh, moisten my palate. That was sort of, this is sort of the pit stop that I needed. Uh, I am going back to bed uh, for another couple of hours, anyways, at least uh, until one o'clock in the afternoon. And then we'll see what we're, we're, where we'll end up heading from there on out. Uh, I know the dreams are going to be a little unusual because they have been these last few days. The dreams uh, reflect some of the successes and also some of the failures. Uh, the successes are a new attitude towards how I behave within the within the dreams. Uh, the failures are that they're not fully complete and uh, there's still a lot more work to be done. And a lot, a lot, of, a lot of times, oh, a lot of the times, the amount of work that you're presented with seems almost overwhelming. Although you do keep push, pushing forward. 
And that's kind of where we are now, and I think it's time for me to get back to bed. So, the short little uh, vlogging point here, it, this the interlude is definitely a transition, so, uh, and we have the time to vlog here, uh, so it's off to uh, the next transition, uh, where I can't film, I can't vlog there, because uh, I can't vlog within my dreams at this point in time anyway, so. Uh, see you at the next transition point. It is 4.16 in the morning. i got to fix this up a little bit more. There, uh, yeah, it's 4.16 in the morning. Uh, four hours and 16 minutes into the 15th day of October 2016. Oh. And we're ending the transition period where we did the, uh, YouTube stroll uh, and didn't vlog outside for uh, the observation uh, the observation period because it got cut short on a very short uh, and brief uh, rainstorm and so I just decided before everything came down to pack up and go inside it rained for maybe uh, four minutes very short and then it didn't rain again uh, so, <laughs> I could have stayed outside, but I didn't do it. I chose not to. I was tired. I, I had already fallen asleep twice in the chair. Uh, so I know when I start falling asleep, then I can't keep, keep myself awake that it's time to come in. But a number of things have happened over these last few nights that are quite, quite interesting, sort of an eye-opening type of thing. And it has, again, to do with the conspiracy theorists. And I said, I, I consider the people on the left to be conspiracy theorists. Just the way I consider the people on the left to be just as religious, and in many cases, religious nuts, just as you have people on the right. They're just different types of religions, that's all. Uh, when you sit down and try to explain things to people, they ask you for an explanation. Oh, you're a scientist, you can explain this to me. You try to explain, but it goes right over the head. They just simply don't understand. And they ask you questions that are very complex. So you have to go in and bring in not only the answer, but you have to bring in the background information. Again, right over the head, doesn't matter. Uh, watch a conference. My dad pulled up a conference on uh, CBD, listening to a doctor, speaking to another, another whole group of doctors. Explains everything I've been talking about. This doctor has been dismissed because no one bothered to sit down and listen to what he would do. No one bothered to sit down and check out whether his data was correct or not. They said, oh, oh, we disagree with him, and out he went. And it's causing a crisis now because you can't trust your doctors anymore. I said, well, you know, well, the doctors are good. No, they're not good. If they're simply following a dictate from a government organization, they're not doing their proper diagnoses. They're not good doctors. The good doc, a good doctor knows what's going on with their patients. They sit down and try to figure out, figure out what's wrong. They don't go through a particular procedure. They have to go through and determine what's best for the patient. This isn't what's going on with CVD. And a number of patients are dying from this. As a matter of fact, it is a perspective, and so with mine, that too many patients are dying. And so, but the thing is, is that the people who are supposedly these public health people out there to protect you, aren't doing their job. And when, a, when someone sits down, who, or, or the general public on the vaxxer side of things, sits down and watches, watches it, they have no clue what's going on. They don't understand the medicine. But yet they insist on their position as right, based on the stuff they saw coming out of Sanjay Gupta on, on, on uh, CNN. In other words, they're, they're getting stuff from the news. Now, from the, and ignoring everything that goes on inside the research because they don't understand the data. They don't understand how to move forward with the data. And when the scientist tries to explain it to them, when the doctor tries to explain it to them in proper medical terms, they don't understand. It goes right over the head and they simply ignore it. Oh, that's just conspiracy theory. Oh, that's his opinion. Someone has just been, spent an hour going over the data and the, the line that comes back is, oh, that's nice, that's your opinion. 
And it's like, wait a minute here. I just went through the data. I showed you where I got the data from. All the different hospitals, all the different doctors. That's my opinion. That's it. That's, that's, that's the rebuttal. And the thing is, the number of people who will accept this is amazing and mind-boggling at the same time because they don't understand that they're being killed. Of course, you have a lot of other people going along with it. No one wants to lose their job. No one wants to sort of, you know, put themselves in any degree of risk in terms of uh, being looking bad or look, not, not looking appropriate and, you know, going along with what, what the government tells you to do. Sometimes, and more often than not, the government is wrong. But people don't listen. They don't care. Because and is it, this is the conspiracy theorists on the left and the conspiracy theorists on the right. The conspiracy theorists on the left are the vaxxers. Pro-vaccine. The conspiracy theorists on the right are the anti-vaxxers. And they, most people only see those two different sides. Oh, he's an anti-vaxxer. They completely ignore the medical arguments. They completely ignore the medical science. And so there's no point in many cases of even discussing the medical science because it's going to go right over their heads. And this is what I've, I've talked to people who were flat earthers who were actually engineers. And you begin to, to try to describe some of the geometry, how the geometry works from Gauss uh, from Euclid and, and uh, Newton and Leibniz, who they're the ones who brought forward calculus, you begin to describe the mathematics and the in the in the, in the, in the geometry. And there's a good amount of history in terms of having a spherical planet rather than a flat planet, and how the stars line up according to the sphere. Uh, because they don't have a sense of history. Oh, that's simply your opinion. And that's it. That's the end of it. So how do you explain how, how do you explain this to the person? Who not only doesn't understand, but doesn't want to understand. They want to maintain their opinion the way it is. They want to maintain their view the way it is. So my perspective is, just, you know, I don't say anything. I don't get involved anymore. You know, now I say, oh, you have to get involved. Well, you don't have to get involved because you can try as much as you want, but unless the people who are going to listen to you and, and sit down and do the analysis, then there's no point because it's simply your opinion. My particular take on what's going on today, well, if everything's an opinion because it's based on uh, on this humanist society of of open concept, okay, let's... let's Let's go with it. Taxes are a concept. Uh, uh, laws are a concept. The courts are a concept. You can't get rid of the police. You can't get rid of... Sure. Who are they helping? Who are, is the FBI? Who are the police actually helping? And we see them there day after day arresting innocent people while murderers get off. This is seen on... on any, anyone go on TikTok, uh, Instagram, for reels... YouTube, you'll see this all over the place. It's common. So why do you need the police? If the police are in a situation where they are as corrupt, and this we've got to go back to Dirty Harry to, to uh, understand this, if the whole system is corrupt, why do you even need it? And I am anti-establishment. I don't agree with the establishment. I don't. I am not. I am not for the establishment. I'm just not violent. I don't agree. I think the the ones who are Antifa or anyone who says says they're an anarchist and anti-establishment, I think they're 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 actually helping the establishment because the anti-establishment, the anti the violent anti-establishment crowd, the anarchists, they create the cause. They create the 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 cause for. A, a more brutal police state. Oh, you need to have the police state there. Why? Because you have these guys here. These are the anti -Semitic. This is, you know, the, the, the uh, smashing windows at, at the at the uh, NW at the at the uh, uh, at the uh, at, at the World Economic Forums or so, or all these different places. You have 
at Glasgow now. They're going to have these massive protests where they're going to be burning things and breaking things. This creates, the, in, particularly in the media mind, creates the need for a police state. It, needs, it creates the, the need for security. Increased security. And it's used to, cre to create this sense of police control. In other words, the, the, the anarchists are actually supporting the cause for a police state. Now, if you call yourself anti-establishment and you're actually helping the establishment create its own environment, giving them the, the cause for this, you're not helping the free, free people. You're creating, the, you're creating the cause. You're helping the establishment. You have to assess your target. You can't be going after innocent people. You have to make sure your tar targets are clear. And the targets are, well, the police don't aren't controlled by the state. They're not controlled by the federal government. They're controlled by the mayor. The any, Police brutality issues are a municipal issue. They're the ones who decide who trains them, how they're trained, and who hires them. You want to blame a cop for bad behavior? Blame the mayor. Not Trump or, or Biden or whoever is in power. They're not the ones who are in charge. They're the, not the ones who control this. It is the municipal do, the government that does this. Know your targets. If you're going to be this, you know, uh, anti-establishment, know your targets. Know what you're going after. Don't go after the wrong targets because it's going to create a problem. It's going to. It's actually going to blow back at you in the wrong direction because you're now helping the establishment create the argument, oh, we need the police, we need more brutality, we need more of a police state, we need more control because of what you've done. This is, my, this is how I see things. I am not establishment. I'm neither left nor right. I'm an independent and I'm anti-establishment. And I'm a non-conformist. I don't believe in conforming to anything. I choose who I am or and what I am. And I support people who do this. I support, if you want to be whatever you want to be, fine, no problem. Understand your choices, though. Anyways, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of hours. For, well, uh, at, least, uh, at least another eight hours anyways, uh, about noon, to uh, uh, begin the next transition point. We are, we are Cyborg, Cyborg Alpha, 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 Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life. life.